Good morning, church, and welcome to No United Methodist Church. I am Pastor Kalama, and greeting to each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, whose God's Spirit is with us, on this beautiful Sunday morning here in Granada Hills, I invite you to prepare to join with me in worship as we sing, praise, and give thanks to God for your family, for this church, and for all of us. Today, in our service, we will conclude with the Holy Communion. So I hope you prepare your table and the elements as we partake the Lord's table. So let us come in the spirit of truth and God's spirit and worship him. I invite Join with me with our call to worship. I give you thanks, O God, with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. I bow down towards your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted your name and your word above everything. On this day, you called us and we answer you. Increase our strength so that we may fulfill your purpose. O oh Lord, Amen. Our opening hymn, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms, verse 1, 2, and 3.
Join with me for our opening prayer. O oh God, we come into your presence with praise on our lips and love in our hearts for you. Please accept our songs of praise as sweet offering to you for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. Hear our song and purify our hearts. Help us to hear your call in our lives, and even as we hear, to respond with faith and commitment. Help us to love others with the kind of love you have shown toward us. We praise you and give you our love. Praise the name of the Lord. May we have a moment of silence. And now with the affirmation of faith, we are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the Word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the Spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church and celebrate God's presence, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope, in life, in death, in life beyond death. God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. Amen. scripture lessons for today come from the Gospel of Luke chapter 5 verse 1 to 11. This is the story of Jesus calls his first disciples and the miraculous catch of fish. One day as Jesus was standing by the lake of Kensereth, the people were crowding around him and listening to the Word of God. He saw the water's edge, two boats left there by the fishermen who were washing their net. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and let down the net for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the net. When they had gone so, they got such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of the fish they have taken. And so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, 
you will fish for people. So they pulled their boats up on shore, left everything, and followed him. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. This morning we hear the story from Luke's Gospel that talks about Jesus calling his first disciples and also the miraculous catch of fish. Prior to our reading, Jesus just finished reading from the scroll of the prophet Isaiah in the synagogue. Then he went to Peter's home and it was sunset, the community and people start coming. And Jesus was so busy healing and casting demons and praying with the crowd. The word is getting out about this man and the crowd following Jesus everywhere. So this morning the crowd is pressing in trying to hear him. And it turns out that Jesus on his way to the lake close to Capernaum and he was at the lake shore. He knows that if he can get into one of those boats, so he asked Simon to push him out from the shore a little bit. So he'll be able to talk and everybody could hear him and see him much better. And these fishermen were on the side at their boat. They have been fishing all night long. And they were busy cleaning their net and putting away their gear. So Jesus calls one of them and said, which is Simon, go out a little further to the deep water and let down your net. I can imagine Simon's hesitation when Jesus tells him to row out and cast the nets again. He's just come off a long night of water the nets have been cleaned and put away. And now Jesus is trying to tell Simon, the master fisherman, that he needs to let down the nets out and begin fishing again. And I can imagine Simon's frustration and excuses must have been followed. Are you serious? Really? We have been out there all night and got nothing. And I just cleaned and put away my net and now you want us to start fishing again? I don't think so. I'm not gonna go through this again. The frustration, stress. Why don't you ask James and Peter? But Jesus said to Simon, go out a little, further to the deep water and let down your net. No matter how many excuses and frustration that Simon going through, but he knew this man has some kind of power. So he say, all right, because you say so, I'll let it down. And the Bible said, moment later, not too long, when they let down the net, they were filled with large number of fish. That Simon has to call his partners to come and help him because their boats were piled and full of fish that they can manage to handle. Here, this is the miracle. Sometimes we let our past failures and things that didn't work of yesterday defeat us from our hope and seeing the future and the opportunity. All Jesus wanted to do is to help these fishermen, to bless them, to help 
relieve their frustration. What about us? We've been going through this pandemic for almost three years now. I can imagine the frustration, discouragement, anger, stress, anxious, concerned and worried that we have experienced and we still. But let us remember there is someone who wants to bless us. There is someone who is willing to help us. All we need to do is to hear his word. To let down our nets. To let go our anger, our frustration, our excuses. And hear the word of God. Because the word of God is living. That is our hope in the midst of pandemic. There are three things that I wanted to share with you that help us as disciples and believers as Christians. In such a time as this, let us hear the word of God. The living word of God that brings comfort to all of us. I know that you all experience when you are so afraid or worried Read the word of God. Get your Bible. Pray. It take your focus from the situation and what's happening to focus on God. Simon, listen to Jesus. Well, if you say so, I will do it. So he went out to the deep water, cast down the net, and what happened? The miracle happened. Hear the word of God. This is Jesus talking to him. Secondly, when we hear the word of God, we must believe. It doesn't make sense if we just hear the word of God preaching on Sunday and we go on with our lives not believing in the word that brings us healing, hope, comfort, peace. Simon not only hear Jesus, but believe in his word. Because from believing the word after hearing will determine how we respond. And his response, I will do as you said. So they push the boat into the deep water, let out the net, let it down into the water. And immediately, they catch large number of fish. And that is the third thing as a disciple, as a follower of Christ. We are to obey God's word. And when we act after hearing and believing, then God will respond and bless us. Jesus blessed this fisherman, help them accomplish their purpose as fishermen to catch fish. It was daylight, which is not their experience. That's why they came at night. But when Jesus is talking to them, he has the power for God is the creator of heaven and earth. So church, during this pandemic, such a stressful time, hear the word of God, as Simon heard Jesus, as Jesus instructed him to go to the deep water, <coughs> excuse me, cast the nets down, he believed as Jesus instructed. Then he does hear God's word as disciples, as Christians, and believe in God's word. That is our words of living. That is our hope. And not only hear and believe, but also obey and we'll have a great catch. Remember, Jesus loves us. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. And whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Our closing hymn reminded us to trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus 
but to trust and obey. During this pandemic, do not worry. Jesus is speaking to all of us as Jesus was speaking to Simon, Peter, James, and John. And when they saw that great catch of fish, Peter fell on Jesus' knee and confessed, Go away from me, Lord, I'm a sinful man. But Jesus said, No, you no longer a fisherman. You come and follow me. They took their boat to the shore and they left everything and followed Jesus. What is Jesus calling you to do? Don't make excuses. Don't get frustrated. Hear his word. Believe in God who sent his son because he loved you so much. And with our hearing and listening and believing, let us respond by following Jesus, by being obedient. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look unto, look full in his wonderful face and all the things on earth will glow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Today we'll come to the Lord's table to receive the body and the blood of Christ, remember his sacrifice, because God loves you more than you can imagine. God knows what we're going through this time. So let us prepare to come to the Lord's table and partake the body and the blood of Christ and be grateful. So let us prepare for our Holy Communion. But at this time, as we prepare, I invite you to take this moment to come before the Lord. Like Simon Peter, confess that we are sinners and invite Jesus to come into our hearts as we prepare to partake the Holy Communion. Now I invite you to join with me on this first Sunday of the month as we gather for the great thanksgiving. With a grateful heart and give thanks to God. Remember the Lord's table is open to all people for those who believe God the Father and receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. The Holy Spirit is with us to lead us in this sacrament of the Holy Communion. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blesses his son, your son Jesus Christ by the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection. You gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took the bread, gave thanks to you, 
broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples, and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of this, your mighty act in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on this gift of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now I invite you who join us today, together with your family, and prepare to partake. The bread symbolizes the body of Christ, and drink from the cup symbolizes the blood of Jesus. Let us humbly come to the Lord's table. brothers and sisters, this is the body of Christ, given for you in remembrance of the mighty act and his love for you. Take, eat, and be thankful. And now, here is the cup. Drink from this, all of you. This is the blood of Jesus offered to you. Let us drink with our faith and love for Christ. Let us pray. Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself for us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves for others. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and all God's people say, Amen and Amen. For our closing hymn, let us prepare ourselves to offer our gift in response to the word of God. As Jesus called us, not only to hear his word and not only believe in him, but we must respond by offering our gift, our service, our lives to serve the Lord in this church and in this community. Let us offer our gift
So let us give thanks to the Lord with this gift. Let us pray. Oh, loving God, we thank you for reminding us that your word is full of life. Your words give us hope. Your words, it's true. Help us to hear you, O oh God, and help us to believe you and help us to respond with the gift that we offer in your name for the ministry of our church here, that we'll be able to respond to the much needed in our community and throughout the world. I give thanks to God for all this gift, and I pray that you'll bless our members and our congregation and those who offer this gift. And bless this gift, let it be a way that we'll be able to bring hope to others. And let us continue to listen to your word and believe in you and respond with obedience, with our trust and obey. Bless this gift and all of us, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Our closing hymn, Trust and Obey, will sing the three verses. again thank you for joining us today so let us come together for our benediction go forth in God's faith God's love God's joy God's peace and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and thy communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen.